This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the link in the description of this video for the full playlist. Today we're going to be starting to look at uh, some networking stuff. Going to keep it very basic, going to get just the basic information about our network uh, settings, our network devices on our computer. And the best way to do that, or quickest way to do that is ifconfig. ifconfig will give you a quick list of all your network devices. And although they may be named different things depending on your setup, uh, some of the most commons are ETHO or ETH will be wired connections and WLAN will be wireless connections and then LO will be your loopback connections which I'll talk about in a minute and then the number is the number so if you have two wired connections or at least two Ethernet cards uh, in your computer you will have them numbered ETH ETH1, ETH2, depending on how many you have. Right now on my desktop, I have a wired connection and my loopback connection. And again, uh, wireless connections are usually WLAN, either 0 or 1 or 2, depending on the number of devices you have and which one it is. Uh, occasionally, you'll see ATH uh, for wireless connections. Now, a loopback connection, just for your reference, is basically kind of like a virtual network device that allows you to do networking stuff without leaving your computer. And we'll look at some examples of this later on, where maybe you want to have networking services running on your computer, but you don't want them accessible to anybody outside uh, from other devices. You just want to be able to connect back to your machine uh, using these services without uh, opening up uh, any security issues that there might be while you're testing stuff. Um, that's what the loopback connection does. It basically it's a fake network device, uh, and usually when you type in localhost or uh, 127.0.0.1, you're actually connecting back through your 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 uh, your connection here. So you can use that in a uh, in a browser to connect to your web server on your current machine and make that web server or other services not accessible to remote. Uh, access. Um, so that's just a quick look at ifconfig. It actually does other things. You can actually use it to turn on and turn off network connections. So uh, you'll have to be uh, either sudo or root to do this, but you can say ifconfig, uh, the name of the device, so ETHO, and I can type in down and hit enter, and that will shut down that network device. And to bring it back up, I will run the same command, but with up. So from the shell, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to disconnect from the internet right now, but uh, from the shell, if you want to be able to disable a network connection, you can use that command. Uh, and that's just a quick overview. Oh, and I guess I should also mention, it shows your um, IP addresses here, uh, different IP addresses. So uh, if you're looking for your IP address, that would be a quick way to find it. So. Anyway, I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.